remix. And Jason, who joins us from Arizona, I think it is here, he had a blizzard out there a couple of years ago, almost four feet of snow, took a week for a place that used is used to snow to clear the roads. So that's a lot of snow. Never been so glad to have spam and canned chili in the cabinet. Oh, yeah, I think we all have those canned foods that just... Even if you're not a prepared person, there's some of you that have can make gourmet meals out of what you've stocked in your pantry because you're ready. You're ready for the apocalypse, whether it's weather or whether it's people, whatever's coming to, like, keep you indoors. And then there's the rest of us who just buy things on the whim and then they just get stuck in the pantry and they stay there for what feels like years. And it takes a winter, you know, blizzard for you to start going, oh, well, look at that lemon pepper flavored tuna fish I thought I was going to eat when I wanted more protein in my diet. Then I never actually pulled out the can and opened it up. But today... It's time for Snowmageddon stew. Yeah. I'm going to get those stale saltine crackers. We're going to see what this baby's made of. Or even the vegetables that may be in there, the random beets that you never eat. You're like, what can I add to this? Or the can of fruit cocktail. You need a snack, honey. Because you Here thought you, you were buying cans of peaches, and you just accidentally grabbed a can of fruit cocktail. Or the like, unsweetened I don't usually eat this. applesauce that you bought on accident, because who does that? I'll give you a little hint for that. Well, you can use it in baking. Well, if you're <clears throat> cooking anything pork-related. Applesauce? Cover it in applesauce. Put it in the oven. Yum. Even the unsweetened kind? Oh, yeah. I mean, you could sprinkle some brown sugar on it if you really want the, the sweetness in there, but it tastes delicious. Well, I didn't have any pork, but we ate applesauce. <laughs> you sort of figure that out. But just consider it's not a warning that there's going to be a winter whatever. We're not doing that here today. You do need to stay weather aware. And do check on your family and friends who may be in the path of it. Tell them, don't be like us. You're going to want something more to eat than whatever's left over, whichever is left over in your pantry. Which it is interesting, even if like how much we keep in our pantry that we really never intend to eat, but for the life of you, you can't get rid of it, especially if the expiration date is still normal or, I guess, good. And even to the point where if you move and you're packing up your pantry, you take it with you. And then you put it on say, your I'm, new pantry. I'm going through this. I'm packing up stuff from the pantry, and I'm going, I haven't touched this since I moved it in, and that was over a decade ago. You're going in the trash. Well, yes, that's probably – I mean, if you hit a can's expiration date – Unless you're in the middle of a winter and you can't get out of your house, you should go through your pantry and clean things out. You know, one of the first things we learned in um, that part of dietetics was first in, first out. So you, you kind of keep that sort of rotating it. We don't usually do that. It's it's last in, first in flying. Oh, so yeah. we usually do that versus There's the, that one sad, half-dented, bent can in the back that's just been like, please pick me. Please. <laughs> it's dark Eat in here. Eat something with me. Make a stew. Put me on the stove. I'd have put anything on the stove other than that mac and cheese had I had it. <laughs> anything. <laughs>